Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on May 14, 2021 at approximately 2.17 p.m. PST. Well, it does seem that things are changing. So, let's get on with it, shall we? Um, the biggest thing that we all have to do is people have to realize that the fighting that's going on amongst people, the total disregard for other people, is a major problem. Now, in simplest terms, I have frankly not seen this much debauchery since since Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, any of you that are that have been raised in Christian faith and some of the others understand what that means. Okay, the rest of you, let's just put it this way. The world at that time was absolutely riddled with crime, with debauchery, with people's total disregard for their for their fellow man and other and other entities, i.e., animals and what have you. They, you know, in my opinion, there is no difference between you know abusing a person or abusing an animal. And in all fairness, there really isn't, to me, any difference between abu with abusing a plant. Okay, and you're looking at how do you abuse a plant? Well, by by simply polluting the planet. By you know, in the easiest way I can look at it is if you're if you're one of these people that smokes, more power to you. If you enjoy smoking, that's your issue. The abuse comes when you take a cigarette butt and you fire it out the window, okay, and especially in the middle of a drought. Okay, anywhere there is dry ground, dry grass, dry leaves around, if you're being careless and you're just totally disregarding the world around you, what you're doing is abusing the planet. Now understand, this planet is the only one you've got right now. Now, yes, there is no question mankind has gotten some people off the planet. But this is still the first planet, which is one of the reasons why I look at the whole, at the whole way the world works. And when people talk about first and third world countries, let's be clear. There's only one world here, and we're all on it, and this happens to be the first world. Now... I'm not the one to tell you whether your belief structure is right, wrong, or indifferent. I can only tell you what I'm what I've borne witness to. Now, for over where are we? For over 48 years now, I've been working in the field of of dealing with people, helping them deal with their personal problems, helping them deal with business complications. Okay, helping them deal with with coping with ones that have had with people that have passed on or getting into a into a direction that you didn't like. I can't tell you the number of people I've talked to that have gotten caught up in gangs, you know, in groups of uh, you know, in religious groups that are absolutely in my opinion misguided. But it does take all types of people on this planet to make the planet a prior to make the planet balanced. Nature has a very, very delicate balance. Now, the the reality of it is this. If we work together, and that's a very big if, because there are so many people that have lost their way, so many people whose integrity has completely collapsed, okay, that it is time for people to start getting their, getting their act together. You know, let's start with the easy part. If you're out, if you are working and you've taken, you've agreed to do a job for a given wage, i.e., show up at a certain time, be there for a certain length of time, do your job. If you've agreed that you get paid that wage for that job, then absolutely do it. The only thing in your world that you really have that cannot be taken away from you is your word. That's it. Okay, if you don't if you don't keep your word, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do something with that. Um, if you don't keep your word, okay, now people can coerce you to give your word, but they cannot take it from you. Now, I've been told I'm what is called a gentleman contractor. In other words, if I tell somebody I'm going to do something, especially if it involves somebody else, now 
I've mentioned I've got to get this done. The only person this affects is me. Okay, well, that's not entirely correct. So let's see if I can do something. I'm just going to put this on pause for half a second. Okay, back. As you can see, that worked reasonably well. I still have a little bit of a problem. I don't know entirely how to solve it. But if you tell somebody you're going to do something, if you give your word and say, I'm going to do such and such, do it. All right, okay. Working together, if we actually start following through with our word, if we actually start being honest with people, what you will find is this world becomes a much more enjoyable place for everybody. I talked yesterday about this idea of making certain that things come into balance. You know, that working together, we can eliminate things like famine, we can eliminate war, we can eliminate things like the disparity between between religions. I mean, if you look at the at the different guidelines, I only talk about three myself. Like I only deal with three. Be true to yourself. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. And energy out, energy in. Now, if you take a look at the at the three guy at the at those three and compare them to the guidelines that you follow that you have been taught, whether it's religious or it's home, doesn't matter. Take a look at the rules you've been taught to follow. See and compare them to those three. And what I do believe you will find is that every one of the ones you're following will fit into those three. If you find one that you don't feel does fit in, absolutely drop me a line at, the, at one of the contact points below. Okay, because frankly, I would love to see it. I haven't seen a discrepancy yet. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Now, let's face it. My way of looking at the world is not the only way. I became reclusive over a decade ago where I will stay in my own house for the most part. I don't have a large circle of friends. I am not a millionaire. There's a lot of things I am, or a lot of things I'm not as well. But the reality is, I, am, I have reached a certain point where I can no longer stand by and, to and idly ignore what's going on. Okay, I can certainly ignore the news. Way too often I see the news reports and I've been told, you know, what's on the news is what people want to hear. People don't, frankly, want to hear the world is going to heck in a handbasket. Okay, people are not, you know, they are program to look for it but I will tell you which makes you feel better knowing that your neighborhood is chock full of crime knowing that a politician has made a mistake uh, in their personal life okay knowing that there is some sort of a of a you know that there has been some sort of a horrible accident you know where there were X number of people killed or Will it make you feel better to hear that your neighborhood is down X amount in crime, that so-and-so really helped make a dent in the child problems, you know, in the problems around the school, or like actually got people to, uh, to work together? Or how about a politician that made a claim they were going to do something positive that actually helps the community, and they turned around and did it? Okay. Or, you know, for instance, would you rather, would it feel better if you see so-and-so murdered so-and-so across, you know, across the front of your paper or across your Facebook page? Or would you rather hear so-and-so got married, so-and-so suddenly, you know, so-and-so so had a child, so-and-so rescued a, a, an abused animal? Which one makes you feel better? Okay, now I'll tell you from my standpoint, I avoid the news because I got tired of everybody saying all of this bad stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. The bad stuff needs to be pointed out. Because if you stick your head in the sand and you don't know about it, there's no way it's going to be changed. Okay, but it doesn't have to be on the front page where it's giving recognition to the people that are breaking the law, to the people that are doing bad things. Put the front page, the first of your of your reports. Like if you're one of these people that tweets, you know, that tweets or that reposts the crimes that are going on. Okay, I'm not saying don't po don't post them. 
Okay, what I'm saying is repost the positive things that are going on as well. Okay, let's make things work a little better where people are actually looking forward to looking at the news instead of going, oh, when can I get off this planet because I am so depressed, I am so tired of everybody telling me how good I'm doing or how good they're doing, and yet I'm still struggling. As I told one individual this morning, Okay, it is the responsibility, in my opinion, of the people that have a little bit of surplus and have the wherewithal to make changes, you know, to help the, the people that have that benefit to reach out and assist the people that don't. Now, not everybody is equal, and don't misread that. I'm not saying that people that have millions of dollars should give it all to other people that don't have it. You worked hard for your money. You worked hard for your benefits. Okay, but, you know, this does mean that if you're going to be happy about it, okay, that's, that's fantastic. You should be. Lord knows I was tickled pink when I managed to get myself to a certain point, financially speaking. So it is the responsibility of the people that have a little surplus or have a better understanding of, what, of how to accomplish something to reach out and help the people that are lost. It is, the, it is the responsibility of the people that are lost, the people that are lacking, the people that are a little downtrodden, to accept the help that is offered, okay, and not take advantage of it. Don't develop the idea of, you know, of I, you know, I'm down on my luck, therefore I deserve somebody to stand up and pick me up off the ground. No, it's not a question of you deserve it. What are you doing to encourage somebody to give you a hand? Are you helping the people around you? Because there is always somebody worse. There is always somebody in better shape. I mean, and I mentioned it before. I heard tale of one person that literally made the absolutely bizarre claim. They were too rich to get ill by, a pan by the pandemic. Now, I'll tell you, the pandemic, the virus that is killing people, does not care how you feel, okay? It doesn't care what your pocketbook looks like. It's kind of like saying that, you know, a forest fire is going to worry about whether or not you vote for the right person, okay? Or that a shark is actually checking to see if you're charitable. They don't care, okay? Nature is what nature does, okay? And it's got a very intricate balance. Mankind is simply part of that parcel. And if mankind doesn't get its act together, they won't destroy the planet. But I will tell you, you'll, uh, I'll set the energy enough that the planet will take mankind out. It's been done before. Okay. But if we work together, if we start looking to the similarities, to the positive side of things, if we start looking at the overall balance between people and realize Every single one of you, just like me, every single one of you is in exactly the same position right now. You happen to be right at this moment, right where you are, right this moment. How you got there, however long it took you to get there, that's your concern. Okay, and there's no way of changing it. Whatever you did to get to where you are, whether you're sitting at the top of the world or at the bottom of the gutter, you're all equally exactly where you are right now and it is at this point that you have to make a decision am i going to sit here and and complain about where i am or am i going to stand up here and point and rub everybody's nose in it so to speak and go look how good i am look how much money i've got you know i made the mistake of commenting on some of what i managed to to successfully accommodate now, it's not a question if it was a bad thing to do, but the side effect was, it, the, the, the impact of the side effect was pretty blatant. It wasn't a question that the person was upset that I was actually su succeeding. It was a question of it brought to light how little trouble they are or how much trouble they're having. Okay, and rest assured, I'm not about to, I'm going to do my best to avoid making that mistake again. Now, that said, a mistake simply means you know better and you do nothing about it. Well, a mistake 
is you don't know better. Okay, for whatever reason, you didn't get the message. And until this morning, I didn't get the message. Now, I'm not perfect, okay? And the Lord knows I've made my fair share of mistakes. Okay, I'm still trying to rectify a few of mine. But the important factor is it doesn't matter that I've come out of a, a major problem. Now it's time to look at you guys. And I do have to thank that individual in particular. And they know who they are. Okay. I am going to, I have to thank them in particular for their honesty and how they felt about what I was telling them. Okay, it's not that I was doing something bad or that I should have been been disappointed in the fact that I had made headway. It is a question of, I didn't think through really how badly it was going to hit them. The fact that they are still struggling. Okay, now you can bet your bottom dollar since I know exactly who it is. Okay, you can bet your bottom dollar. I will end up sending a, a link of this particular video directly to them because it is designed specifically for them. Okay, this is not something they asked. This is something that I that quite literally the message came across. It's great to be proud of, of what you have accomplished and how far you've come. However, you have to take into consideration... I got the message this morning, clearly. You have to take into consideration the fact that, that the fact that you're doing better does not necessarily mean that everybody is going to be is going to be able to handle it as well. Okay, there's no doubt the individual was happy that I was doing better, but that doesn't take away the strain that they're under. And if you're seeing somebody on the street, okay. And you're looking at them going, oh, you're such a bum. Do yourself a favor and do them a favor. Do everybody a favor, frankly. Ask them how they got there. Okay. I remember talking to one gentleman on the street one day and I asked him literally. He was begging for money. I asked him literally, how did he get to where he was? Right. And I, I did it politely. I did not look down on him. As a matter of fact, I crouched down to talk to him. But I asked him what had happened, and like he told me, he says, look, he says, I am an alcoholic. I get just enough money to keep a roof over my head, right, and to keep my bills paid. But he says, unfortunately, I am a severe alcoholic. I've been into AA four times, and I'm scheduled to go back in this week. Now, this is a little while ago, and this is a few years back I ran into him. But I will never forget the look on his face. Because he told me flat out, he says, look, I'm going to drink. If, if you give me money, I'm going to go in and buy a bottle and I'm going to drink it. He says, on Thursday, now this was on a Tuesday. He goes, on Thursday, I'm going, I'm already scheduled to go back into another month long lock, lockdown to try and break this pattern. Now, I, like I told the guy. I could not be happier for him. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a terrible thing that he was fighting alcoholism. But I couldn't be happier that he had been that honest. Now, did I give him money? You bet. Because he was being absolutely honest. He was doing everything he could to reasonably overcome it. Now, the reality behind it is since that day, I found a way to actually help him. Although I don't know where he is. But I found a way to overcome that print and help people overcome that problem and have since guided people. I used to drink heavily. Okay, and I found a way to help people actually quit drinking where they can do what I did. Okay, I used to drink a 26 or a night. Okay, I'm now at a point where it'll take me 10 years to finish a 26 -er because, well, frankly, I don't require it anymore, but I can sit down, I can drink with people, I cannot drink with people. It's entirely up to me. Okay, it used to be you put me near a drink and I'd be drinking it. Okay, now this is not a good thing. This is not to say I'm better than anybody. This is just the way it was. At the time, I gave him some money and looked at me and he goes, why would you give me money? I just told you I'm going to drink it. I said, yeah. You also told me that you're getting help in the only way you know how, and you're doing everything you can. You're making your bill, you're meaning your, your responsibilities, and you're ill. 
why am I going to beat you up over that? Even metaphorically. Okay. So, I turned around and I gave the money. There was another chap that I was talking to. I asked him the same question, how he got there. And he turned around and told, and told me he had a job like the last one. He had a job, but he didn't have enough money for anything else. He wasn't an alcoholic. Okay, he just didn't have enough money for anything other than covering the basics. So I asked him, I says, well, why don't you walk across the street and get a job at McDonald's? Because at the time, I knew full well McDonald's would work around his other schedule. And he looks at me and turns his nose at me and goes, I'm not working for McDonald's. So I looked at him, I says, you're not hungry enough. And I walked away. I didn't give him a plug nickel. Okay. Because, yeah, he was being honest, but he was not doing what he had clear ability to do. Okay. In both cases, I could have given money. Okay. And I do help. To me, that is how, what they, what religious groups call tithing. That is how I do my tithing. I take a look at individuals and I make certain when I'm giving people money, when I'm giving people a, a hand up, I make certain that they get 100% of the help. Okay, instead of sing, instead of handing it over to a church or to, to a nonprofit organization. And both of those do great jobs, don't get me wrong. But I personally feel for me that when I'm helping somebody directly and they get 100% of the money that is being had, that they are getting helped with, yeah, it only helps one person at a time. But it's one person that hadn't been helped. And this is why I say, if you've got a surplus, if you've got a little extra, help the people around you. That is your responsibility. And like I told the individual this morning, okay, they have, they have a problem. Okay, they don't like asking for help. Like a lot of you out there don't like asking for help. Now do understand, I get very, very direct with people when they go, can you give me money? Okay, the reality is I do not have a lot. So I give when I can. But like I told this person, you know, I will do what I can because it is what should be done. Now they know who they are. I know what I can do. I know what I can't do. And quite frankly, they're not asking for help, so I just told them quit arguing about it. Now, with this in mind, it is absolutely imperative that we, as co-denizens of this planet, no matter what species you are, no matter what race you are, no matter what gender, we, it is time we all work together. Take a look at whatever religion you're following and ask yourself, are you treating people the way you desire to be treated? If you just want to look at it as representing the religion you're in, okay, are you, pre are you presenting yourself in a way that would encourage other people to follow that religion? Which my understanding is that's a lot of the idea here. Okay, is your behavior one that encourages other people to do and to behave as you are? Okay, and if so, is it behaving in a way that you would be happy being treated? I will never forget the day that in one religion, there was one chap in, 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 of a given religion that literally told me he would, he would have invited me to his church if I had been dressed, and dressed better. You know, I've never set foot in that church because that kind of behavior absolutely left a sour, a sour taste in my mouth. Okay, I've never been in that church. Mind you, I haven't been in a church in all fairness ever since we had a fallout. My whole family had a fallout with the, with the church decades back. But it is time for people to start realizing that if you desire the world to get better, you have to be the one to start making it happen. Each individual must make the effort to change things in their own life. You do that and you will change the world around you. It's a natural side effect. Take a whole pile of matches and stand them all together. Light one. And you find the radiant energy will ignite the ones beside it. If they're too far apart, it won't. Okay, but if you put them close together and you light one match, they will set off chain reactions like dominoes. If you stand them all up, 
You knock one over, it sets up a chain reaction that affects all the ones on the other side of the table. Okay, there used to be a game several years ago called Domino Rally that enabled you to actually do this. You can do it with standard dominoes. It is time for people to realize that we are all in exactly the same boat. Everybody I've ever met likes the same idea. They desire food, food on their plate. They desire a roof over their head. They desire to be talked to in a decent fashion. They desire to be respected. This issue of, I have more money than you, or I hold a better position in society than you, therefore show me respect, has never sat well with me. Okay, now this is a personal outlook. And I mean, in all fairness, we are talking about my personal outlook. And I mean, I, in all fairness, for decades, I hid from the world and wouldn't have anything to do with a lot of people. This is one of the reasons I became reclusive is I couldn't deal with people. Okay, I couldn't understand how somebody could claim to love their, love their partner and beat the living stuffing out of them or claim to care about their kids and constantly do such heinous things as throw them down the staircase because they didn't put their clothes away. Now, to me, this is not love, but I see it all over the place. And of course, with the news reporting all the negative things, even on, on the social media nowadays, you get bombarded with who did what that was cruel. Okay, I really thank the people that take these things, and I saw one. It was, it was hilarious. Okay, they saw this little kid. They, they videotaped this little kid sitting on his, on his bed, and he was just laughing, but he started to laugh so hard he could fall over. Okay, but he was on a say he was on a padded bed. He didn't hurt himself. He didn't embarrass himself. He was just simply he. Was, I don't know what caused the laughter, but if you've ever listened to a child laugh, it's infectious. These sorts of things are the things that it's time to start posting. Okay, these are the things to share. Not look how badly this kid got beaten up. Look how badly this person got treated. Okay. It has absolutely jack to do with color. Okay, it doesn't matter what color you are. Okay, the only thing that matters what color you are is it helps to differentiate you from another person. Okay, you know, the fact is, like, I wear glasses. I used to get called all sorts of names because of wearing glasses. Okay, take my glasses off, I'm still exactly the same person. Okay, you know, I wear certain clothing. No, I am not the most fashionable individual on the planet. Okay. As a matter of fact, I got told one day that I'm not, a, that I am a fashion statement, just not a good one, which I absolutely agree with. But it is time for people to realize, especially if you're sitting in a position of power and a position of, of guidance, if you're a, a spiritual leader, if you're a politician, you know, for pity's sake, start putting out the message that it is that everybody deserves to be respected. Everybody deser deserves to be treated properly. And if you've got a job that puts you in a position of authority, it's time to focus and make certain that you're actually doing that job and following the rules yourself. Because I will tell you, if you're not, not only are you creating a problem for yourself, but you will not be generating the respect that you, that you personally desire. Now, hats off to the, to the police for doing their job. Lord knows I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, it's got to be done. Okay. They put themselves right directly in the line of fire when people are in trouble. Okay. Now, whether they have attitude problems or not, they are people beyond everything else, like the military. Before they put on a uniform, they were people and still are people. They still have their shortfalls. They are not perfect. But I'll tell you, if I end up, like, for instance, I got, I, I've been pulled over in standard roadblocks, okay? And I get told, you know, I, I hear the people yelling, you know, quit holding me up. I'm in a hurry to get to work. You probably are. But that stop, they've got a, they've got a hard enough job. Giving them a bad time is not going to make it easier for you. It's not going to make it go any faster. 
it's time to start treating people with the respect that you desire to be treated with. And if you're not going to treat them with respect, you can bet your bottom dollar you're not going to get treated with respect yourself. Okay. Now, I put them down. I forgot what I did with them right in front of me. Anyway, I do that. We are at a point where we do have to bring this to a close. So, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. The idea here is to get this message out to everybody on the planet. Okay, whether they've got, got video or not. Spread the message, please, to everybody. It is time we work together. Okay, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share the daylights out of it. And if you look at the list of, of if you look at the list below the, below the video, You'll see a list of contact points. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, absolutely drop me a line on any topic. Doesn't matter what the topic. Okay, we'll take a look at it. I will answer what questions I can. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you until tomorrow morning. Okay, until we talk again. Well, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow morning. I'm going to leave you until tomorrow. Okay, I'll be back sometime then. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.